Heading off to the seminary this morning for the seminar. If you've got time, I would encourage you to go. If not, if you can view online, that would be great. I want to talk to you about an individual this morning that is our hero, and yet he is the individual that is despised in the story this morning in Genesis 37. We're speaking of Joseph. He's an individual that was beloved by his father until he had a dream. When he had this dream, this dream really began to show what was going to happen and how Joseph was going to save his family. And yet the pride of his family did not allow them to accept his dream. And he was okay with being comfortable in the uncomfortable. This is something that we have a hard time with. When things become uncomfortable for us, we move. Not Joseph. He stayed right there in that uncomfortable state. I want to tell you that if you're going to affect change, you've got to be comfortable with the uncomfortable. The other thing that we see with Joseph is he had a lack of fear. A lack of fear. He was, as we would say, fearless. But today you see that um, fear seems to really move and motivate people. There is this statement that fear is a commodity and I want you to understand that but not for Joseph now where does fear come from it comes from within and it comes from without how does it come from within in our own insecurities we see that Joseph did not have these insecurities he believed in what God had showed him in that dream and he was going to be okay in this uncomfortable state for a while and he was not going to allow fear from his insecurities from within to keep him from it or the fear that would come from without his father and his brothers. He kept pressing forward. This is why he's our hero and why he's a threat to them. You could say he's eccentric. People that are eccentric, that means that they don't fit right in the center of the circle. They're somewhere off. We call them oddballs. Those eccentric people are the ones that affect change. They throw the whole thing off. They make us uncomfortable. We try to manipulate them back to the center with fear. But one that is motivated by God and has a vision, that won't happen. That will not happen. Let me ask you, today, do we need people that are comfortable in the uncomfortable? Do we need people that are fearless? Do we need people that have a vision for what God has for the future? Take a look at Joseph, let him encourage you, and may you, may you be that person that down the road everyone looks at and says, man, that's my Joseph. May God bless you. Maybe we'll see you at the seminar this morning.